staring at you too. You know, even when I was really trying to hate you, I couldn't help seeing something else. Something. What? In your eyes. Does that sound silly? When you see something like that, it doesn't matter what a person looks like or who they are or anything. What is it? This isn't what I thought was going to happen to me. Listen, I got to talk to somebody right away. Would you mind if I took you home? Oh, hey, by the way, I'm, I'm getting a divorce. But you and your wife aren't even separated. Oh, sure we are. It's a, it's a big house. Mr. Pendleton, this is an outrage. We've gone to enormous difficulties to find you an athlete. I know I said I wanted it, but that was before. Something happened tonight with Betty Logan, and I just changed my mind. That's all. I'm going to get Farnsworth's body into shape. I need Corkle to help me. I'm going to call Corkle. understand? Back in there, eh? Oh, yes. I can do it. I know more about getting into shape than anybody in the world. You understand me? So if you just hold up on that body, hold up on the body, hold up on the body. Tell Mr. Jordan not to worry about it. Thank him. I'm very sorry, but I just want to get into shape with this body with Farnsworth. You, you make me absolutely speechless. I have nothing whatsoever to say to something like that. I can't even think of how to retort to something as ridiculous as you're turning down a body that we've gone to such extreme lengths to find for you. And an athlete at that, a man in the prime of condition, I simply don't know what to say. But what will I do? with his cocoa. I don't want to disturb him, but dare I let the cocoa get cold? I noticed there are two cups. Well, Sis felt that since Mr. Farnsworth was pretending to talk to somebody, he might want to pretend to give him cocoa, too. Yes. Hey, how you doing, Everett? How you doing, Bentley? Good evening. Wait a minute, just a minute, please. All right. Hi. Uh, look, I'm sorry to bother you so late, but I don't love you and you don't love me, so let's get a divorce, all right? <laughs> Leo, I don't know what you're talking about. Ah, come on. Yes, you do. And uh, Abbott, Abbott, there's a trainer for the Rams named Max Corkle. Could you call him tomorrow and ask him to come over and see me? Yes, Mr. Farnsworth. Thank you. Good night. You idiot. You idiot! Why did you answer him? I couldn't resist. His will is too strong. <sighs> That's our weekend forecast, and now here's Brian Gumble with tonight's sports. Leach and Shaw will have to... He's dead. It's over with. Left for Philadelphia this morning, hoping to play their last road...
At last, at last. At last, my dearest. It's incredible. Last. Yes, just a minute, yes. Yes, sis. And, uh, Abbott, Corkle's number 6541654, all right? Yes, Mr. Farnsworth. Okay. Oh, my God. Back this way. Mr. Farnsworth is waiting for you in the ballroom. Follow me, please. Mr. Corporal, sir. Max! How you doing? 